The stock market had a rough 2018 and volatility certainly picked up. Today, we're gonna to give you five tips on how to deal with a volatile stock market. Hi, I'm Carl Eggers. Welcome back to my blog. Volatility has increased recently and Sometimes when volatility increases, we get a little emotional. And when we get emotional, we tend to make bad investment decisions. As a matter of fact, if you think back to 2008, when the market was falling, what seemed like almost every day, what did you do during that time? Were you panicking? Were you selling into the lows? Or did you take advantage of those drops? Did you think about the long term? Did you keep a cool head and did you buy the dip? Because eventually the stock market did rise and it, and it rose quite a bit. Volatility is a normal part of investing in stocks. Uh, there have been some studies done by JP Morgan that suggest that the stock market on average will fall between 13 and 15% at some point during the year. So we should expect that volatility if we're long-term stock investors. So let's go through the five steps of dealing with a volatile stock market. Number one, Check your emotions at the door. The feeling of regret or fear will oftentimes lead to bad investment results. Number two, stick with your strategy. You should already have a strategy before the stock market becomes volatile. And if you have the proper allocation of stocks versus bonds, you will accomplish your goals over the long term. And you've already factored in, there's gonna be some volatility and some bumps along the road. That's why you have the allocation you do and the strategy you do. So you must stick with your strategy. Another thing to do during a volatile stock market is to stress test your portfolio. What does that mean? Well, stress testing, you go through each of your positions and you look back over history, how volatile are each of your positions? Uh, what did they do during the last financial crisis? What did they do when there was a recession or when there was a stock market boom or when we had really volatile days? And if you look at those positions and, and start looking at the history of how volatile they are, you will get a pretty good sense of how your portfolio might hold up in the next downturn. And then you can decide, you know what? I have the proper allocation because if the stock market were to fall 10 or 20%, I already know my portfolio is going to drop 3 to 5% based on my own allocation. So stress testing your portfolio in advance is key. Number four, slow your mind down. <laughs> when the stock market starts to fall, we tend to turn on the news. We want to see what's going on with every little tick in the market. There's headlines, breaking news, specials on the evening news about the stock market being volatile and falling. Turn it off, take a walk, re-examine your long-term goals, and then again, realize that we are going to go through some volatile times. And so you have to, again, control your emotions during this time. And so again, take a time out. The last thing I would say to do during volatile times is remember that you should have a diversified portfolio. It sounds a little cliche, but you have to have some things in your overall portfolio that don't move like the stock market. So when the stock market's going down, you may have other assets that are going up. Uh, those can include alternative investments. Those can include real estate or commodities, not just stocks and bonds. Uh, you may have mutual funds, exchange traded funds. And if you put that whole thing together, you're going to get a portfolio that can sustain some of the bumps in the road that the stock market is going through. And again, keep in mind that the stock market is just one asset class. So when we hear the stock market's doing poorly, that doesn't necessarily mean that your portfolio is moving just like the stock market. So again, think about the long term and think about a properly diversified portfolio. I hope those five tips were helpful to you. Don't forget to check out our website at eggerscapital.com.